had a lover's rush Just like a million lovers had before Like Romeo, Juliet, Sansa, Nina, Lila Ah, ah, Nina, Lila Romeo, Juliet, Sansa, Nina, Lila Ah, ah, Nina, Lila was the lovable sound of bad manners, believe it or not. And the lovable bad manners are on their way to Carrick Macross, is it tonight? Yeah. Carrick Macross they're going to. All right, on your way, fellas. Turulu, and thank you for joining us. Okay, oh, there you go. What generosity of spirit. Blood vessel, front man of bad manners. Ruled the clubs, charts, and UK ska scene in the early 80s. Renowned for his outrageous costume and massive protruding tongue. His wild antics led to a 10-year ban in Italy. Well, Buster, if you'd had more help with savings and mortgages, would you still gone into the hotel business? I guess not. We don't just offer virgin products. We offer thousands of products from hundreds of companies. To sort out your money, visit virginmoney.com. To our number one for 1980. Now I'd like you to think, you know, chubby, uh, screaming, always hungry, little bald head, cute. Well, if you put this chap on your lap, you'd shatter your pelvis. Twenty years ago, TV was still trying to teach us how to be better citizens, dragging us out of the barbaric 70s and into a new, sophisticated decade. Let me see you attempt to eat asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> but while these ladies learned how to get their lips round the tips, the Antichrist of Etiquette was belching his way out of North London and into the charts. We won't mention that, yes. The producer's watching. We won't mention that, yes. And also... A Stoke Newington delicacy, pork pie and pickled onions. What? You're joking, of course. No, 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 oh, no this oh, is all good stuff. Oh, you're not going to eat that? Oh, yeah. You've got to oh, do you're it. not. You're not going to eat that. Yeah. It's just a matter of taste, isn't it? Some people have it and other people have not Into the murky gloom of Tory rule shone the light of Clown Prince Buster and his band of merry men. Thatcher's Britain. Oh yeah, I remember it so, so well, yeah. Uh, the times were that hard that for me there wasn't anybody who was happy. And so that's why we went that happy route, I suppose. Nobody could take a band with that man, bald, big, leaping around, running around in circles. Nobody could take that band seriously. It was the ultimate good time band in 1980. And many good times were had. Bad manners. A loose collective of London musicians and mentalists formed in 1975 at Stonehenge, playing blues songs about cheese, sandwiches, TV fact. By 1980, they developed their own take on the multicultural ska-based sounds of two-tone. Their first hit was typically philosophical. We 
started off this strange career with Nini Na 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 Na, which in 1980 was the track that had been in the chart longer than any other track. It came in, went out, came in, and then we got a top of the pops, which changed everything. <laughs> the great British public was completely frightened by us. And they see this great big fat bald headed chap bouncing around. I did a radio show with him once. In one hour, he ate 25 Big Macs. Everyone has always come up to me and said, oh, what does it mean, lip up fatty, you know? Does it, are you, somebody, people telling you to shut up or something? But it's nothing, it was just complete nonsense, and I don't know why I came up with it, but there you go. You would think it was a number one with the amount of press and uh, commotion that it caused. Even in places like, you know, Finland and places like that, if we didn't play the pop flat, it would smash the place to bits. I wouldn't have liked to have been in bad manners, but I would have liked to have been a fly on the wall in quite a few dressing rooms and recording studios, I think. We decided we needed to write a few more songs, and uh, and I said, well, if we're going to write some songs, we need some inspiration, so I'll go down in the off-license and buy a load. I remember sitting on this crate, picking up the tin and went, I love you, yes I do, cos I know you're my special brew. And they went, that's great! <laughs> but that one line sort of set the whole song off and it took us like two minutes to write a song thereafter and we wrote another song in a London violence at the same time. The two songs took 20 minutes and we're still playing them today, which isn't a bad bit of work really now I look back on it. I remember that was a, a top of the pop show and he turned up dressed like Henry VIII and I tell you what, he didn't need any stuffing. He'd done it already, the Big Macs. We were complete perverts about dressing up. And they got Charlton Heston's Henry VIII costume out of this cupboard for me and it was sort of a bit moth-eaten and, and I put it on and started bouncing around. Of course, it started to fall apart and everything. But they patched it all up and uh, it's just the smell of Charlton Heston coming off of it was quite strange as well. After 20 years, 300 musicians, 73,000 pork pies and one failed guest house, the former proprietor of Fatty Towers is still going strong. There's always been this, like, fit old bad manners all that. We, you know, we're just normal chaps, really. Uh, having a good time, it was a school outing that never stopped for us. I guess that answers the question of who ate all the pies. <laughs>
La musica del momento per il gruppo del momento Bad Manners, Lorraine Kill 